World Hepatitis Day is coming up July 28th. Niagara Health is holding two events to raise awareness about the disease that can result in liver failure if not treated. Brenda Yendel joins us. Brenda, how prevalent exactly is Hep C in Niagara? Hi, Mike. Thank you for having us on today. And um, actually, this is something that is of concern to us here in Niagara because we do have a higher prevalence here than even the rest of the province. And hepatitis C is one of those tricky things that doesn't always show symptoms. So it's really important that people come out and get tested or see their healthcare practitioner and get tested, especially if they think that they're at risk. Is there a reason, an underlying reason, why Niagara's rate is higher than the provincial average? You know, Mike, that's a really good question, and we really don't have one simple reason for it because there are so many um, different ways that you can contract hep C. The um, hepatitis C virus is passed from uh, someone carrying the virus to someone else's blood, uh, which then, as you can imagine, there's, there's many ways that can occur. So back to your question, it's not simple to answer why we would have such a high prevalence. What are some of the symptoms that people should look out for? I know this is part of your presentations coming up, but what are some of the things that people should be aware of? Yeah, well, that's the tricky thing that, uh, you know, you can go for years not having any symptoms at all. And I mean, just a general malaise can even be the first uh, indication. So. You have a couple of events coming up, and I know World Hepatitis Day is the 28th, but you're getting a jump on that with an event at Montebello Park. What is happening that day? We are, Mike. We've got a lot of things happening. Um, our last event was uh, a few years ago, pre-COVID, as you can imagine, and it very well attended, held at Montebello Park. We had over 600 people coming out to visit with us. We have a number of community partners, community vendors that come to our event. Uh, this year, we have the GoVax bus, the health screening bus, the water wagon, a number of um, partners in a variety of uh, social uh, support settings, uh, addiction, mental health specific, um, job training, uh, quite a variety. Actually, 33 folks are coming out to join us. Uh, 33 partners are coming out to join us on Friday at Montebello Park. And then we have almost 28 uh, partners coming out on Thursday on World Hepatitis Day, July 28th at St. Andrews. And a lot of your focus is about getting information out to people. Exactly, yes. And to do that, we are offering um, food, but also a lot of services in one place that makes it nice and simple for people to access. Brenda, the past two years with COVID-19 being the focus, has that made it more difficult to spread the word about hepatitis C? Or does it also, as we're coming out of COVID, or at least seemingly coming out of COVID, make people a little bit more aware of their health in general as well? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a good point. Uh, certainly, COVID has turned everyone's attention to how they're feeling and paying attention to that. Um, of course, some of the restrictions that we had over the last couple of years have slowed us down a little bit, but we've been able to continue service through that time and, um, and still continue to um, help people in identifying, testing, uh, treatment, ongoing care of hepatitis C. Brenda, July 22nd and July 28th, two events on the 22nd at Montebello Park, 28th St. Andrews United Church in Niagara Falls. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us, Mike.